Oh me, oh my. The latest and greatest from the Decline Chrome collaborative efforts has arrived. Let's start with the smallest of the bunch. We all have a lot of stuff to carry, especially if you like taking pictures or shooting video, which leaves ample opportunity to create cool little bags to store all of our crap in. I'm a big fan of keeping a phone or a camera on me at all times. I also am a big fan of not having my phone or camera in my pocket. It makes sitting down difficult. If you're riding your bike, it's a pain. So the solution is the external pocket. This is a little hip pouch that I thought made the most amount of sense. Reflective hits on the zipper pulls, the same nylon material as the decline backpack. This guy will fit point and shoot camera, no problem. We got plenty of room in this thing. There's an inside pocket to put whatever the hell you want, and also another pocket on the outside. This thing will actually fit a phone and a camera. Boom. Another thing I'll like to do in these is a phone and like a little field notes notebook fits in here really good. If you got a spot, you can put some extra stickers. This is kind of like a utilitarian carry-all in a minimalist style. So if you're feeling like not taking a bag with, this is a good on the go kind of thing. An attachment. I thought you'd never ask. There are two hook and loop loops on the back, which go over any strap or belt. And what I like to do is kick them up just a little bit like so, so they're above the bag just a little bit. And what this does is when you put this through your belt loop, it drops the bag down ever so. And it gives you a little more room with your for your shirt and stuff to hang down so it's not all the way up against the top of your belt. It actually does make a big difference even though it seems like a small feature. It's the small things. Straight up simple, black, understated, wonderful. Put whatever you like in there. You'll have it with you. Put it on your bag, put it on your belt. I'll leave that up to you. Damn, this thing's so cool. Next on the docket, we've got the Decline Sakosh. I don't exactly know what Sakosh means. I think it's Japanese, and it basically means these small little bags. Maybe it just means little bag. The Sakosh is the perfect bag for travel or going into the city. It's basically a glorified man purse. I love this thing for travel. It has everything I need on me at all times. Phone, notebook, stickers, pen, perfect. If I end up finding something small, I can usually get it in here. It's just a way to have all your things in one place. You can move it from left to right shoulder very easily with the symmetric shoulder design. Tighten it up if you gotta ride the bike. Let it loose if you feel like letting it all hang out. It's pretty cool. Black, understated, works with all colors and it's okay if it gets dirty. We went with the chunky mesh for the outside and inside to just keep weight down and give it a fresh look. One zipper across the top with reflective zipper pull. Inside has a zipper pocket, which is really handy to keep things compartmentalized so it's not one big mess of crap in there. And those little key things that are, you know, kind of helpful, especially if you're traveling and you have your hotel key or, you know, I know there's cards, but uh, it's just, it also has the quick release snap on snap off. So if you want to click it over your shoulder, easy. You can wear it on the back or in the front, which makes it super accessible to put things and grab and just everything you want is just right there. It's really handy. I'm telling you, this thing is very, very helpful. And the fact that you can tighten it down so easily with these straps makes it super simple to hop on a bike with. So it's not swaying all over the place. And if it does sway, you can also just let it ride up front and it's all good. These are great for a little bit bigger camera too. There's a lot more room than the hip pouch. So the choice is yours. These outside stow pockets are really handy for the phone. A quick, easy place to put it that's again, not in your pockets. I love this thing. Moving on down the line, vests. Huge fan of vests. I love them. I wear them when it's cold, I wear them when it's warm. They're a good way to be in between with the weather. If you have high exertion activity, vest is great because it's not quite as much as a whole layer, 
but it still keeps you warm. So for this season, because the weather's getting colder as it does every single year, we decided to fleece up the wind vest. I'm super excited about this guy. So the new Chrome Decline Insulated Wind Vest has fleece front panels with a wind block shell that also goes over onto the back yoke. There are subtle reflective hits at the back shoulders. Two-way zip, which anyone who rides bikes knows that this is super functional. Pull it up when you're warm, pull it down when you're cold, zip, you get it. Two side slash pockets which also zip and secure. One of them is storage for the vest to fold into. And the back panel has a poly four-way stretch, high wicking with three back pockets. This thing is function supreme. I'm definitely going to be using this thing on big rides and civilian life all in the same. This guy treads that line very seamlessly. So for the textile on this and the hoodie, I wanted to do something that was a little different. I was really interested in flowers and their ephemeral nature. They represent life and death, which can remind us that our existence is fleeting. They're perfect iconography for the ephemeral nature of this experience. And I came across a Dutch floral painting from the 1800s, which I thought would be a really interesting repeat pattern. And I didn't want to just use the pattern as it was. I thought it would be fun to scale it up and give it a color half tone. What this would do is it would abstract the painting into a different type of pattern. So when you look at this pattern up close, it reads as a color half tone abstract pattern. But as you scale away from it, you can start to pull into focus the original painting that this was derived from. And another cool thing about this pattern, as they print the fabric for these pieces, they're printed in a continuous way and the pieces are cut on different parts of that repeat, resulting in different patterns for each piece. So you and the homie can have the same vest or hoodie, but it'll look slightly different depending on where the factory cut the material on the pattern. How cool is that? Also, the four-way stretch at the back of this vest makes layering with this thing very easy. That stretch gives a nice constraint when there's not much going on, but if you have a hoodie or other layers underneath, it'll conform to that volume. And last but not least, a brand new piece introduced into the collection. May I introduce to you the full zip hoodie. This thing is loaded to the gills with bells and whistles. It's a comfortable fleece base piece with the abstract Dutch floral wind block at the top yoke, down the arms, and across the back yoke. It keeps wind chill off of the arms and the core when you're riding. Two-way zip, again, massively important for life on the bike. We got reflective hoodie poles, which is just always a nice touch. The cuffs and the bottom hem are the same four-way stretch material used on the vest. It has a really nice hand to it. It's just, it feels good on the skin. Not only that, but it also has three jersey-style back pockets, which any cyclist knows is massively functional. And even if you're not a cyclist, more pockets, more better. And one of my favorite elements to this piece, which makes it super unique, and is something I've done in the past and haven't been able to do for a while, the built-in neck gaiter. This thing is a lifesaver, an instantaneous neck warmer. Super easy to use, just pull it on with one hand. It keeps you nice, cozy, and warm. I'm telling you, this thing makes the difference. If you're riding and the weather shifts or if it's just plain cold out, this thing is a deal maker. If you gotta do any kind of commuting or riding around of any sorts in slightly chilly weather, this is the thing to live in. A piece like this will probably become a uniform for me for a certain chunk of the year. Uh, maybe a big chunk of the year. This also uses the Dutch floral halftone, which will also produce a unique effect depending on where the factory cuts the fabric. Each piece is going to have a different layout. How cool is that? Two front slash pockets, and as a byproduct to the two front pockets, you get two inside pockets. More pockets, more better. <laughs> 
So there you have it. The latest in the Chrome Decline collaborative effort is here. Links and information are below. It's been a pleasure. And I'll see you on the flip side.